Reacher Season 3 will have significantly lower stakes because it is adapting Lee Child's Persuader. But this might actually benefit the Amazon show. Lee Child's Persuader offers way lower stakes for Jack Reacher than Bad Luck and Trouble, but this might actually benefit Reacher Season 3. While a release window for Reacher Season 3 has not been confirmed yet, behind-the-scenes details have revealed some casting choices that have been made for the Amazon show's third installment. It has also been disclosed that Reacher Season 3 will tread the same path as Seasons 1 and 2 by adapting only one entire Lee Child book. Since the Amazon show is not following the order of the original book series, Reacher Season 3 is now going for the seventh book, Persuader, after Season 1 adapted the first and Season 2 portrayed the events of the 11th. Only time will tell whether adapting Persuader will work out well for Reacher Season 3 or drag down the series' overall quality. However, from the looks of it, its low-stakes action is already setting up Reacher Season 3 as a superior adaptation compared to Season 2. Reacher Season 1 followed Lee Child's Killing Floor, confining its storyline to the small town of Margrave. To effectively raise the stakes for the titular character, Reacher Season 2 adapted Lee Child's Bad Luck and Trouble and unfolded in New York City, focusing on an international conspiracy that involved a major terrorist trade. Reacher Season 3, however, seems to be taking a step back by adapting Lee Child's Persuader, which does not exactly raise the stakes for the main character. Although Persuader is a compelling novel, it primarily revolves around a revenge plot in which Jack Reacher sets out to punish a former military intelligence agent, Quinn. Compared to Reacher Season 2, where Alan Richson's character goes up against the powerful and dangerous players of an international terrorist deal, Season 3's Persuader adaption may seem significantly less grandiose in scope. However, even though it is hard not to assume that this creative decision could weigh Season 3 down, it looks like it might benefit it in more ways than one. If Reacher Season 3 closely adapts Persuader, it will have more in common with Season 1 than Season 2. While Reacher Season 2 does an incredible job of portraying the titular character's former team members from the 110th Special Investigations Unit, it is forced to split its runtime between Dixon, Neagley, O'Donnell, and Reacher because they are crucial players in the overarching drama and have a lot to contribute to the central crime solving. Reacher Season 1, in contrast, featured more or less of a solo mission in which the Alan Richson character was merely assisted by Roscoe and Finley. Just like Reacher was dead set on serving justice to his brother's killers in Season 1, he will avenge the death of one of his former military colleagues in Season 3. By adapting Persuader, Reacher Season 3 will again tread the same path as Season 1 by following a solitary Jack Reacher crime-solving endeavor. Like Roscoe and Finley, characters like Susan Duffy will help Reacher along the way in Season 3. However, the show will primarily focus on the titular character instead of balancing its runtime between all the main characters. Just like Reacher was dead set on serving justice to his brother's killers in Season 1, he will avenge the death of one of his former military colleagues in Season 3. New confirmed character in Reacher Season 3, actor playing them, Quinn, Brian T., Richard Beck, Johnny Burke told, Guillermo Villan Weaver, Roberto Montesinos, Stephen Elliott, Daniel David Stewart, Zachary Beck, Anthony Michael Hall, Susan Duff, Sonia Cassidy.